All right, next up we are going to do Deep Southern Greens from We Like It Rough. Let's see. Black Tees and Pin 1. You got it, buddy. Deep Southern Greens. Now, what's the difference between Deep Southern Greens and just Southern Greens? Because I like greens from the South. Big time. Give me some mustard greens, collard greens. Oh, well, I'm glad he recommends the black teas because those are the only ones I have. Had any other been recommended, this would be a dis disqualification. Maybe not really. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I got to tell you, without looking at anything else right now, that is a good looking tea shot. I don't think anybody can quibble with the fact that that tee shot is a good looking tee shot. Now, I can I can quibble with one thing, and that is uh, it it's I mean, what a third of the fairway is cut off by the uh, trees. Son, just let me do it, okay? So he's over there. The peanut gallery is chiming in. Rough. I mean, this low water area has done pretty well. The rocks are okay. Doing the rocks like that is, is hard. Um, I can tell you from experience, that's difficult to do. But from the tee, that's a good look. Let's look at the uh, look at the bunker area here. It's hard to tell because of the lighting. But these fingers are done much better than, uh, for instance, the Lake Sophia that we were on earlier. I mean, it's, is it perfect? No. But uh, it's, a, it's a sight better than some we've seen. And yes, that was a phrase used specifically because of Deep Southern Greens. It's a fair sight better than some we saw, some we seen. Now, as good as that tee shot was... This shot is not quite as good, but it's still good. Eleanor, you walked all the way up the stairs just so you could cry at me. That's not a good use of your time. That is not going to be a good shot at all because of slow, but that's okay. Did you hop up there by Alex. I like the long green. Like I said, I, I've been liking those a lot lately. 169. That might be too much. Yep. Yep. I'm still putting at 158 instead of 169. That's okay. We'll get it figured out. That's better. Yeah, doing the shallow uh, lake... It's kind of a cool thing to do. It's harder than you think to pull off well, though. So we'll see how we do. See, for instance, the, the cattails. Cattails generally are going to clump a little bit. So I think, you know, for this kind of planting, go ahead and scale them up a little. Guys, enough. I don't care. Enough. You'd want to make them a little bigger. Ooh, look at that water run, too. That's interesting. But you might want to make them a little bigger and just rotate them around in, in some bunches. You know, maybe leave paths through them or something like that. Another good-looking tee shot. Um, that bunker is not the greatest. It's just it's so big. Um, and I feel like we're, we're having our hands forced. I mean, this is a 250-yard, 450-yard hole. And... Uh, Let's see. I don't know. We're going to try this, but I feel like driver is, is being taken away pretty substantially here. Nope, we made it. Not awesome. An okay thought, just maybe not executed quite as well. I feel like this bunker... Time out.
Holy Hannah. Are you saying I was a little harsh or that that, uh, that particular drive was a little harsh? I think this bunker is a little harsh. I think this side here doesn't need to be mounted quite this way. Or if it does, it needs to be a little more subtle. You know, bring the mound out into the water or do something as it is that looks just a little artificial to me. Just a little bit. Another interesting green shape. And uh, I like interesting green shapes. That's, that's always kind of fun. Yeah, I like this. I like that green. That's kind of fun. Yeah, a little weenie. That's all right. Yeah, the drive was a little tucked in. Like I said, from the tee, it looked pretty good. But just was a little pinched off. And that bunker size, I think you'd be better served doing, you know, separate that into a couple of bunkers. I like what you're trying to go for in the bunker. See this, 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 this. Look, there is width in this early fairway that really is not going to be used a whole lot. Um, but visually, it adds a, a ton to this hole. Imagine if this fairway had... had this whole edge just completely cut off and that's kind of what we were dealing with on the last course and what we dealt with on some other ones adding that in does so much visually um this creek is not perfect um like right here i think it could have been kept wider but it's a cool looking creek and i like the very slight camber on this do you see that that also adds a lot just that little tilt makes a big difference Oh, I'm going to hit that tree. Get through. Yeah, perfect. Right in the water. Yeah. Or this. Oh, this is... Buddy, this is done fantastically. Anytime, and I've said this before, but anytime you can go from closed to open, or from open to closed, it it's just, it's it's such a great easy way to add visual flair to a course. Look at this. We've got a handmade bridge, which is super sexy, by the way. Very cool. Very good work there. I mean, it does kind of look like a checkerboard, but hey, that's the thing. Second shot on this hole is really good. Well, that's the best hole so far. Easily. Easily. That uh, that bunker is a little low with the water the way it is. So my suggestion would be to take this entire area and pop it up a little bit higher. That way you could have that bunker go down uh, the way it is without sacrificing it to uh, Poseidon quite so much. Not that Poseidon doesn't appreciate it, but, you know, I think he's got enough sand down there on the bottom. That is a, that is a super sexy hole. Good job. And I am man enough to admit I was not, after the first few holes, I was not expecting that. That's a, that's high level stuff there. That's how to take simplicity and really make it shine. And this one is not simple at all. And I got to tell you, I think the bridge choice here, after seeing what you did with the bridges on the last one, I think this is the wrong bridge choice. I think you would have been better off um, to just come up here and do one bridge across or something. But I, I feel like those bridges are taking away like this bridge in particular is blocking the front of the green, the water there, and uh, I think that would have served you well. This bunker to the right, I'm okay with it. Um, I think it could be a little more subtle and that it would look even better. 
The one to the left is just too close here. Um, you should have kept it a little further away and just used the ground to go down into the bunker and let it fall in. Uh, it's not a bad hole, though. I like it. Just just a few little niggly things. I'm going to play for that fast swing, I think. And instead, I won't hit it. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Off of the green. That's okay. That's a good chip. We'll take it. I like the idea behind that hole. Um, just a couple little things that would have improved it <laughs> substantially. It's amazing. Little, little tiny things can make a big difference. Yeah, the scale on things has changed a little bit. Um, the first hole had a large bunker, but I think that's it up there at the very top right of the screen. I could be wrong. But um, that bunker had size, but it wasn't massive from a width standpoint. And these bunkers seem to just keep growing. And I don't mind it, but I think you could have pulled off the same the same feel again with a little more subtlety and uh, it would have served you better in the long run. Can you clear those? I'm going to try it. And I pushed it. But it's going to work out okay. Mm, there's a knob right in this bunker in front of me that's a little wonky. I also... I, I'm my feeling is this this bunker here I guess it serves its purpose off the tee a little bit but then you've got another bunker up here and I feel like um, I feel like you could have just extended this or done something a little differently but that's okay it's still it's cool I'm fine with it my wife is calling me she can talk to voicemail for a minute Yes, I know. Mommy's calling. Yes. Yep, it's okay. I'll call her back in a few minutes, okay? Wow, this putt. Something else. Come on. One time? Nope. Nope. What do you guys think? A little surprise so far by this one? Eleanor, Daddy's my name, don't wear it out. Yes, that was an 80s, 90s reference. Give me some of the yellow. I like the yellow. Yellow was okay. See, this is one. You, you've you half accomplished what you should by using a cross fairway. But I feel like you could have brought the fairway out down through here a little bit more and still gotten the visual impact of the water or brought it a little further to the left because I mean we've got like a 90 degree dog leg here which means as a par 4 this is strategically not really great because unless you clear these trees I mean what, what any you can't lay up I mean you cannot lay up on this hole you can't do it Sure, you can work your way through the trees and kick a field goal, but that's not realistic. That's not realistic. You would have been better off, you know, extending some fairway right up in here or extending the fairway out and taking a few of these trees out. But this hole, this hole's a little weak comparatively. Difficulty wise too. It's just it's a it's a step up that didn't need to happen, I don't think. I mean I'll play it. It's fine. <laughs> I have been punished for doing a ninety degree dog leg before. This is one you could have joined this green up to the fairway and I think it would have uh, I think it would have cleaned the look up a little bit. It also would have allowed you to uh, shape this bunker a little differently. You could have brought it over a little bit more and a little higher. You know, um, it's fine. 
I mean, this as a second shot is a, is a cool second shot. Again, just, I think, a couple missed opportunities here. Strategy-wise, the hole is, is a problem, but this shot is just off by a little bit. Just a little bit. So far, the first tee shot on this course was great. Hole three was fantastic. You should bottle whatever you did on hole three and just do it everywhere. I have enjoyed your green shapes and the uh, sculpting of the greens. I mean, you, you like this one is going to cause some people some consternation with that yellow back there, but I don't know that you would have seen that in the designer. People think you can see all of it. You really can't because it only gives you it only gives you the the uh, grid from one angle unless you play it. Yeah, our bunkers are just getting a little carried away. Again, with a little sloping, like have you had you sloped from back here, like raise all this and slope it back down, as well as left to right a little bit, visually that would have added a lot to this course, uh, this hole. Oh, that's got to get a little bump. There we go. Eleanor, I hear you, baby. I hear you. You know, you've hidden, just based on the elevation here, you've hidden a lot of what's going on here. This either needed to be higher or lower, one of the two. But I think you fell in love with, uh, I think you fell in love with sand a little bit in the last few holes. And it's not bad, but you need to fall out of love with it and instead use it a little more strategically. It's cool. I mean, it's a cool hole. It plays fine. Um, I just think visually, you're still you're just missing a few things. Just a few. Oh, thank you for getting off the green. I did not want to try to try to do that. Yeah, I mean, it's asking a lot in places, but I'm okay with things being a little demanding as long as they give you way out. But that last hole did not. I mean, it gave you nothing. You had to either hit the right shot or you were screwed. And if you weren't screwed, it was because you kicked a field goal on the second shot. And that's not really a good design choice. I got watched some couple of guys play on uh, YouTube the other day. Some new channel I hadn't watched before. And they're playing this course like, oh, this is a great course. Wow, this is great. And the first two holes... The primary design feature was big trees in front of the green. Okay, this this one is kind of a mess. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This particular drive is not good. Um, I don't think you needed to really utilize fairway a little more. Like, if you want a bunker right here, fine, but you need to bring fairway out and down and around, all the way up here, camber it left to right. I mean, there's a lot of things that need to happen on this hole. I could save it. A lot of guys could save it but it was not saved. How feisty can we get? Can we get super feisty? Let's try it. Hit that tree. Hit it dead center. Ah, perfect. Now, that may be the play. Maybe that's the play on this hole. But if the play is cover the trees, that ain't a great play. We're getting a little... a little too much on the uh, disconnected greens. Just a personal thing. They're okay, but if you don't have to disconnect them, I mean, why? Go ahead and give it a little connection. Even if it's just a little bit on one side. I think you'll find it adds a lot. Yeah, this pin's going to cause some problems for people too, but that's okay. It doesn't bug me too much. A little yellow floating around, especially in 169. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, no, you definitely want to give options. Uh, you do. Um, right now, the options on here are kind of options you have to go and find. You know what? Overhead, this is a pretty simple little hole. But again, the look from the tee here is is really good. 
I mean, that's a really good looking tee shot. I think that the uh, the bunker shaping and the, the placement of that one's kind of a not great. Um, this part of the green could be done a little better. The rock work here could be a little cleaner, especially when it's coming up into some different types of rough. Um, but from the tee, I mean, I'd put that on a postcard. It'd be nice. It'd be lovely. Hmm. Don't know. I'll have to see on this one. Yeah, not bad. Options are good. Just don't hide the options. Not all of them, anyway. The hole has to... I feel like a hole has to present itself a little bit. I mean, there are some courses where the holes don't present themselves terribly well. There's some Mike Strands courses. I know uh, uh, Pithy, we talked about, you know, Tobacco Road and Tot Hill and things like that. But even they, okay, this is another one. I guess with for the length of this hole, I'm okay taking driver out of your hand. Um, I mean, it's a short hole, so it doesn't bother me too much. That bridge kind of bothers me. I think that um, something could have been done to make the crossing over not right in front of your face. If you have to use a, if you have to use a bridge to give yourself a good view off the tee, you've done something wrong. And again, we've got another disconnected green. It really didn't need to be. Uh, I like the height of this green a little bit more. The rocks, the rocks you carried up a little high. I think if you'd kept them right down along the water line, this would be a better look here. Skip forward. There you go. You didn't have a tooth fall out, you goober. Yeah, see, and that's that's the thing. Um, I'm on record. I, a lot of guys are on record saying, well, playability trumps looks every time. And some people are like, well, looks are really important. And I'm here to tell you, you've got to do... You can have a good course that does one or the other, but you cannot have a great course that doesn't do both. A, a, a great course will play well, but golf is a visual game. You play it with your eyes as much as you do with your hands. And um, if, if things aren't visually appealing or don't direct your eyes the right way, then uh, it can be really off-putting. Like you look at this hole. Everything about this hole tells me I need to err, err to the left. But look at the left. There ain't anything going on over here. Um, might have been cool to bring that in more. I mean, this is a long hole to have a, a green that small. Um, that'd be, I think, my only complaint here. Because, again, I, I like the tee shot. The tee shots here have all been, you know, pretty good. With a few that were exceptional. One and three right now still being the standouts. Although that last par three was pretty good too. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Like three blades of grass kept that from being awesome. And instead, we get that. You enjoying my two-year-old, soon-to-be three-year-old singing uh, Old MacDonald Had a Farm over here, which is good. Yeah. I'm going to bet when I zoom up that this tee shot is another one that could be really cool that just didn't quite pull it off. Yeah, we've got a big, we've got another giant bunker that's not angled in such a way to really take advantage of it. And again, I'm just going to tell you, you could have taken this fairway and extended it back here way out into this water and it would have done nothing but help it would have done nothing but make this a better hole how high is that that ought to be right perfect oh nope it's gonna run through
But that's okay. Again, this is a short hole. You know, having a difficult drive doesn't bug me. Uh, having a green that does a big old horseshoe deal here. Not horseshoe, but you know what I mean. That doesn't bother me either. Let's see if how much run we can get on this. Not too bad. Yeah, looks attract attention, but uh, looks will get you one play. My opinion, they will get you one play. Wow, I was not paying attention to what that was. Um, playability will get you eh, two or three plays, but if you can combine them both, now you're talking hundreds of plays. So, you really got to... Be cognizant of both aspects to pull it off. Now, some folks, they will design just the course first. You know, all course, all playability, and then go in and try to add looks. Right, that's one way to do it. I think you kind of have to do it as you go. Wow. I would not have expected that out of that fairway. Okay, I'm going to go against some things that I say sometimes here and say this fairway would have benefited from coming a little closer. All the way down through here, maybe right to here. And I probably, I probably would have ditched these trees and brought the fairway way out here to the left because that's a safe area, but it makes this hole really long. It's a beautiful tee shot. It really is. But I think, uh, I think having that fairway wrap out further to the left from the tee, especially if you cambered it correctly, would have been uh, really cool. Let's see if we can bend this. Probably not, but we're going to try it. Hey, it worked. One in a row. Yeah, that's fine, man. You design what you want. That's, that's the other thing, people, you know, if, you, if you're going to enter a contest, you're going to have to think about what other people like. If you're just designing to design, well, design what other crap you want. This is a hard thing to do, and you've done a pretty decent job here, so I'll give you props on that. Trying to uh, run rocks right down into the sand is uh, not easy. I've done that on a couple of courses, and it's, it's a little fiddly. I didn't play enough off that side hill. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's not a bad time. It's never a bad time. You're fine. If there's a bad time, that means there must be a good time. And that's me. That's assuming a lot. This whole thing may have just been me, you know, taking a big giant dump. You don't know. That's a bad putt. <laughs> That's what I get. That's what I get for making snarky comments. That would have been funny if that one went in. I would have taken that. That would have been fun. As it is, I'm just kind of hacking it around the course, paying more attention to what's going on than than anything else. Oh dear! All right, let's take a look here. 313 yards, par four. I'm okay with the, the rock stuff that's going on here. Um, I think based on what you're doing, you could have brought it, you could have brought those stones even up in here, maybe a little larger and planted trees on top of them. And that would have given it a little more continuity. But uh, we've got a blind tee shot and a drivable par four. And honestly, this has done pretty well. Like I don't, I, I think the camber on this might be a little, extraordinary so maybe you could have moved the maybe you could have extended the fairway out over in here a little bit like take out those two trees because really I don't see those two trees from here at all so take out these two and let it wrap all the way up to here and that could have been uh, that could have been pretty cool it's fine the way it is I just think that could have been even cooler
That's not going to kick quite enough, is it? Oh, I guess it is. Hmm. I thought I'd overshot it. But that is that is a that is a good attempt at drivable part four. That's a pretty good one. I like that one. Some of them are a little straightforward. That one had a little character to it, and I appreciate it. That ain't enough, is it? Yeah, it is. Cool. Evening. He's back again. We'll take an eagle. See here, we've got uh, our cool little... bridge deal. Uh, this is for when three people like each other, but not really all that well. It's a good looking tee shot. Again, I think we could have, I think you could have played with the fairway right here a little bit more and even taken it up a little higher. Uh, this bunker, size-wise, is back to a little better size. A couple of those were starting to get a little ginormous. Of course I noticed the bridges. They're fine. They're fine. Don't sweat it. Like I said, it's just for people who, you know, they're friends, but they're not that good of friends. Like you just, You just walk over there. This is a much better use of um, a deep greenside bunker. Um, you still could have pulled the fairway away from it a little bit, but this is this is a, a better distance away from the uh, green in that it allows the bunker to be a little flatter and um, it allows you to use the sloping to get it where it needs to be. That second bunker there, again, this one's a little bit better. I think you could have you could have brought this part up just a little bit and it would have been fine. Um, but this shot is a lot more visually intimidating than it should be. Um, I do think though that adding all this trouble over here, I'm trying to see where my safe point is and I really don't have one. So again, bringing the fairway over this direction, I think would have uh, added visually. Like I would have lost, this tree would be gone bring the fairway over this way a little bit more because even if you play over there now you got to go up over this stupid bunker so again just to, from a strategic standpoint um, I think you could have given people a little bit more here again it's the right direction just just lacking a little bit to me yeah deep bunkers are fine um, they just have to be done correctly and they're done, I'll be honest, you've done a better job on your deep bunkers than the, uh, uh, what, couple courses ago. But I'm not revisiting, oh, come on, that slow backswing. Ah, I thought I had enough. Life goes on. Um, no, this is the second one I've done now. I did the two earlier, and then uh, did, uh, I don't remember which one before this, a different one. But I'm going to have to jump off after this one, because i got to feed my kids, and then we're going to the pool later. What, dear? Yeah? No, you do it. I like the no bunker approach here. This is another one where I think, I don't even know that you would have had to add a lot more fairway, but I can't help but with the water back there, imagine these trees gone, and that would have really opened this view up. I, I would have liked that. This is fine. Don't don't get me wrong, but uh, I'm just wondering if you had if you had taken those trees on the right out a little bit, three or four of them anyway, to let you view all the way down to where the water is. Eleanor, it's dead. You can't play it. Okay, it's dead. <laughs> I 
worth a watch. Yeah, I guess. But yeah, you wouldn't need it to add any fairway, really, if you didn't want to. Just take those trees out. That would have been a cool thing. I was wondering about that camber. That's pretty hard, but I like it. Not too bad. Now let's see here. This is a nicely done area over here. Again, these rocks are okay. Um, I'll be honest with you, doing this using a lot of small rocks is very difficult in this theme, especially we got some serious water stuff going on there, but I don't care because that's off the course. But um, using a few fewer larger stones I found in this theme has been very helpful. So just a, a hint for later. I like this hole. This entire hole is, uh, has been pretty good. Like leaving this planted, I have no problem with here. That's pretty cool. 94, 10 into my face. I think I'm just going to leave it alone and see what happens. Probably terrible, but that's all right. I'm not, I'm not trying to shoot a score here. Yeah, we did uh, St. Cialis which we decided that was the name because we were told that it, all, all the conditions needed to be very firm. So it's not St. Cyrus, it's St. Cialis. Wow, I have had my Wheaties today. Boom. Boom. It does have a nice look. It does have a nice look. This, this course has had a few of the, the better tee shots of any course in this entire contest. Uh, this is another pretty pretty good looking course. I like the way this lake is done. And it is big, but I like the fact that you've used it. I don't, I'm trying to wonder if that shadow is helping or hindering. And I think it's fine. I don't know that it's really helping or hindering too much. This is a very interesting green. I like it. I like it. And I don't think you needed any other uh, I don't think you needed anything else on this one. This is just all carry, man up, have a nice day. I mean, you could look and look and look at this one and say, well, you could do this, well, you could do that. I don't know what you need to do any of it. Now, let's see. That fast is going to kill me. Yep. Fast was too much. Yeah, you know, I was thinking Biarritz, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to get into it too much because I I hadn't looked at the uh, course layout stuff too much on this one. I'll come back. Well, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. I wanted it to go up the other side a little bit. I needed to hit it harder. Ooh, snuck in the left side. Looks decent. If you haven't noticed, I made a lot of bogeys on the back side, just kind of playing around. See, the stonework here is pretty good. I'm okay with this. That bunker is in a good spot. I think the shadow from that tree up there would have been better served to be back a little bit further up here because you're kind of stealing your bunker a little bit. And again, I think you could have brought the fairway out even a little bit further without too much trouble. But here's the deal. This is a par 5, and it's not a super long one. So, I mean, you've given us enough room to put the ball. So I don't, I don't really have a problem with it. Just thinking visually of a few things that you could do. This bunker, I think, might be a tad much. Again, the fingers you've done a pretty good job on, the big chunky ones. But I almost would have liked to see that bunker be cut in half. Like this this section you could have just left. And then um, took this and angled it. Like, have the fingers, but turn the fingers more instead of this way. Turn them more this way. 
That would have been kind of a cool look too, just with the way the shadows are playing. All the best courses finish on par fives. <laughs> I don't know. We had a we had a good par three finisher on the last one. Well, on St. Cyrus, sorry. I don't think there's any way for me to get close with this. So let's just hit it and hope. That's gonna bounce right. Yeah. I was hoping it would kick forward. It's okay. We haven't had too many par five finishers on this one. A few. That's what I get, again, not paying any attention. That, and that was not a very slow. That was 100% not a very slow. Here, watch this. Let's, uh, let's enjoy this. Nope, didn't work. Oh, well. Guess we'll have to try again. Drivable par 4 finisher would have been the one. Yeah, I like those. Those are cool. Oh, that's not bad. not bad. Oh, it just ran and ran and ran. Oh, well. It is. The, the contouring is pretty good on here. Like I said, there are a few choices that I think were missed a little bit. Um, he'll see them when he goes through the, the stream. Uh, I got to tell you, the first tee shot was really, really beautiful. The third hole, your third hole here was one of the better holes in the whole stinking contest. That was, that was a lovely hole and executed very, very well. I enjoyed it a lot. That entire course was an enjoyable course. Um, I don't, I think that uh, you're definitely going to find some tour action on that one, um, on the CC side. I think the difficulty was about right. I just was playing all over the place. So I think you did a good job there. Um, you didn't shoot yourself in the foot in a lot of areas. There were just simply a few places where you could have used a little more fairway or a little less sand or just little tweaks, little tweaks that would have uh, tightened things up nicely. Um, yeah, you're right. This a little more width here and there um, would have benefited. But I'll put it this way. This is the kind of course where, like if I were doing a collab with somebody or something, if you had made this course and handed it to me, we would have had a lot of fun together. So this could have been a lot of fun. Anyway. I am uh, going to sign off and try to get my kids fed and ready to go to the pool. Um, if I have time, I'll do another one or two later. Uh, I do want to say thank you to you guys who have uh, followed and things like that. I got my email from Twitch earlier about uh, potential um, making a few bucks. But if I do that, I, I think I'd have to do more of these and just on random courses or once people ask about. And I have no problem doing that. It's just a matter of finding time. But here's the deal. If Twitch is going to pay me to do it, I will make time to do it. So, you know, that's that's not a big deal. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope that they've been enjoyable, beneficial. I've tried to be very constructive in the feedback, even when I just say, hey, I don't like this. It really doesn't matter. You know, I mean, I like it, but that's okay. Uh, but I will definitely do some more. I appreciate it. And uh, we will talk at you guys another time. So thank you very much.